This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to part four of our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on Gmail 201 Intermediate Studies. Now in this segment I'm going to talk about colors. In the previous two segments I talked about better labels and better filters. And now as you can see on my screen, I'm using colors to visually organize my mail as it comes in. So the ones that are in blue are my marketing account. SIF is in red. Personal emails pertaining to my family come in and get flagged as green. My butterscotch.com email comes in and is orange. Now this one had the word action in it and so it also was assigned an action item. Now if you look down here I have colors assigned to different categories. And the way I've broken it up is that I use blue for my work email, I use orange for butterscotch, I use yellow for things pertaining to Apple, I use green for personal things, I use red for the Shearwater Industry Awards Foundation, and I use variations of those colors. So wood carving pertains to me, so it's blue. Work reading is blue, but it's a different shade of blue than the ones for my marketing account. Some things, like sent messages and so on, I don't assign a color to. Now, I have colors here that you won't find in the default Gmail colors because I'm using a function in Gmail Labs that allows me to have custom colors, but we'll get to, get to that in another segment. So as you can see, if you use labels and filters and combine that with colors, you can get your email sorted very well. And that concludes part four.